Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel. Now school is well on the way in the year 2019, so I thought it'd be a good idea to dive onto our Chromebook and have a look at all the new features and the new user interface of Google Classrooms. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. And here we are on my Google Drive. Now there's a couple of new features in Google Classroom ready for January 2019 and the first one is a brand new look. So let's go and discover this new look by simply navigating to classroom.google.com. Now as you can see there's a little welcome screen and the first thing it says it has a new look what's highlighted drag and drop topics and classwork items on the classwork page. Now we're going to have a look at that in a minute. We can also easily access the class code and I'll show you where exactly you can access that and you can sign up for the gradebook beta. Now I've already signed up for the beta and this is coming in a future video. So let's go ahead and click on got it. Now I'm going to dive into a previously created classroom and here we are in one of these classrooms. Now you can see this already has a very different look and at the top you have that class code. And previously we had to dive a bit deeper to show this code but now all we have to do is simply click on this button right here to display it our students can join the classroom and then we can just carry on in our stream now when we navigate to the classwork page you will see that this is no longer displayed under people again same thing no longer displayed so it is in the stream that we can find our class code now this is making sharing the class code much easier, much quicker. When a student has not had a chance to quickly join your classroom, simply tap it, let them join, and then once they've joined it, you can close that code. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to show you what's new in terms of themes. Now when I click on select a theme, we already had a number of themes in place. Now with the new rollout of this new user interface, there are literally dozens and dozens of new themes available. We can click through, we can go to maths and science, we can go to arts, sport, and other. Now as previously available, you can still upload your own custom photos, but these themes will save you tons and tons of time. I personally still prefer to add a little bit of a motion to my header, which is why I still upload custom GIFs or GIFs to my classroom. Now, another thing that's new is the drag and drop of classwork. So I'm going to go to the classwork page, which you can see here at the top. And once I'm in there, I can now simply drag and drop my topics around. This was previously not available and it made it so much harder to arrange and rearrange the way you structure your classes. Now I can simply drag, drop and rearrange things. This is a huge time saver and I must admit I have been waiting for this for a long, long time. Now that it's finally here, I'm excited because it is actually going to save me a lot of time. There is also an extra feature for iOS devices and that's where you can simply swipe for options and you can quickly delete and edit posts by swiping left on your mobile device. Hopefully this is coming to Chromebooks, Windows devices and Android devices very soon. So as you can see, there's not a lot that has been changed. Now, leaving a comment is still very easy. Let's say that I want to leave a comment to everyone that has been assigned to this vector versus raster assignment. What I can do is I can click on view assignment. I'm going to go to the instructions page and then there at the bottom, I can add a class comment. This comment will be viewable by everyone who's been assigned this assignment. And that's all in terms of updates for January 2019. Hopefully we will continue to see many more updates. And if you would like some more videos on how to use Google Classroom, do let me know in the comment section below. For now, this was it and I thank you for watching. And there you have it, new features, new experience, new interface. Now. Again, as with every change to Google products, there are people that like things, there are people that do not like this change. I would love to hear in the comment section below, what is it about the new user interface and features that you like? And what is it that you really do not like? What features are missing? What would you like to see changed? And what was it about the previous user interface you liked better? Now, 
let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I will dive in. I will reply to as many comments as possible. I might not get to reply in the first couple of days, but eventually I will try and leave a comment or reply. Let's start that discussion. And I am excited about the year 2019. More videos each and every week on the channel. And as we grow together, this community will continue to grow as well. I thank you for being a part of this community. If not, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like it, share it, all the good stuff. And I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.